Most buildings in Key West are within an AE flood zone, which means further back from the coastline. Each AE zone has a different elevation rating, meaning how high the first floor must be above sea level to be considered at the minimum flood level. FEMA refers to these minimum flood levels as base flood elevations, or BFE for short. Insurance rates are determined by a building's height below or above this flood level. Buildings below BFE pay much higher insurance rates. The flood insurance rate maps, known as FIRMS, became effective January 1, 1975. Buildings constructed prior to this date are known as pre-firm buildings, most having been constructed long before flood maps even existed. Most pre-firm buildings are below BFE. Today's building codes require substantially remodeled buildings be at a minimum elevation of BFE plus one foot. Such a building in an AE6 flood zone would need to be raised to a minimum elevation of 7 feet above sea level. If the ground level is at 4 feet above sea level, then this house would need to be elevated 3 feet above the ground. The difference between the required elevation and any additional elevation is referred to as freeboard. In this instance, because the building code now requires an additional one foot of elevation, by default this building has one foot of freeboard. Buildings with freeboard pay much lower flood insurance premiums because they have a lesser chance of being flooded. The greater the freeboard, the smaller the insurance bills. So, when elevating a building, how much freeboard should a property owner consider? Let's compare the amount of freeboard against the annual cost savings. For this example, we'll use a pre-firm residence resting within any A zone. We'll say it has the usual $250,000 of building coverage with a $2,000 deductible. Originally, this home was built 3 feet below BFE. As a result, flood insurance costs are $6,700 a year. If this building were raised to BFE, those premiums would drop to just about $1,300. Yet we've already learned that buildings to be elevated must go to at least BFE plus one foot. At this elevation, the rate drops to $791 a year. The question then becomes, how much freeboard should this homeowner consider? What would the cost savings be for two or more feet of freeboard? Increasing freeboard to two foot brings the rate down further to $603 a year. Give it three foot of freeboard and the rate drops to just over $400 a year. By raising this house to three feet above BFE, the premium has dropped from $6,700 down to $400 a year and annual savings of about $6,300. To summarize the savings related to freeboard, with one foot of freeboard, this homeowner saves about $5,500 a year. With two feet, the savings rises to $5,700 and three feet brings the yearly savings to $5,900 or 94% of what they were paying before their house was elevated. Over 30 years, for one foot of freeboard, these savings accrue to $165,000. Two feet saves $171,000. And for three feet of freeboard, the savings are $177,000.